Hey gang, Scott with the Scott Gardner Group and we have a brand new one for you today. We're up here in the Scottsdale, the very busy Scottsdale North Shopping Center. You may hear some cars and stuff going by. We're right next to AJ's, just down the street from uh, Health Solutions, you know, it's around the corner where they're having our blood drive today. Too late for you guys, but we'll have another one soon. But anyway, today we're at Holy Land. I want you to come in and meet Victoria. This is really, I think, gonna speak to you guys that are believers. Or maybe if you just want, you like to hear stories about a leap of faith, I think you're gonna like Victoria. Come on in. So I teed this up outside saying that uh, this, this store is a little bit of a leap of faith. Tell us a little bit about your walk. It really was a leap of faith. Um, I had a calling to do this and it was my desire and my heart's love for God that I just decided that this was the time that I would open the Holy Land Books and Gift Store. And this wasn't like two weeks ago. This is a process, right? This was a 20 year walk and a journey of being able to open the store. And I'm just grateful to be here and I'm so overwhelmed how the community has embraced it. And you, you know, we won't go into, I got goosebumps as I'm thinking about it. We won't go into all of the trials and tribulations that, that are always there. Every time you do that, you try and follow, you know, you're led, things fall together, and then there's always trials. You've been through all of that. Oh, absolutely. But you know what? When you have a passion for something, that's what you really center on, is being able to do what God has called you to do. That's it. And, you know, a lot of things fall together for you too, right? And. To be honest with you, it was the perfect location, the perfect timing, the perfect place, and here we are. Here we are, and so you can kind of see a little bit here, but what is, who is your, kind of your buyer? Who, who, who's attracted to this? You know, I feel that everybody seems to want to come in and take a look around, and they're excited to see what's in the store. Um, everybody has their walk with and journey with God, and this turned out to be the biggest blessing. People come in, they buy gifts, uh, we've got the Judaica side, the Christian side, and people just seem to embrace it. No, oh, there's everything here, and, and like you say, a lot of gifts and things, we can show you guys some of the, kind of the fun ones, but uh, well, let's kind of, let's start over here on the Judaica side. Sure. Well, obviously a lot about Christianity here, but now we're in the Judaica section. We certainly don't want to pass over this. <laughs> Tell us about this. Well, we have authentic items from Israel. It's the mezuzahs, we've got the hamsas, we've got the uh, beautiful menorahs, and just amazing books and collectibles. We have everything pretty much that anybody would want to give as a gift. And this side, we carry the Holy Bibles, we carry um, a children's selection, uh, teen Bibles, anything for anybody that would enjoy their walk with God. So this has just got a lot of different things. I see family living, Christian books, end times, left behind books, those type things. We have everything. We have devotionals. We've got uh, biblical theology books. We've got great uh, men's books. We've got prayer books. We've got blank journals. We have everything. We have a great selection of crosses angel statues. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry, items for gifts, anything to encourage your faith walk. And some funny stuff too. I got to show this. It's, uh, <laughs> napkins for when you have the grandkids over, elbows off the tape. You know how my kids are perfect, but my son's kids aren't necessarily perfect. So we got to help them. So elbows off the table, say grace. Say please and thank you. Let's remind them. And plus their cloth napkins. They can put them on their laps. They can do it right. So all of that. There's a lot of good things on there. But some fun gifts too. And what's really my biggest joy is being able to sell Bibles. This is what I really enjoy selling more than anything is our beautiful selection of Bibles that we carry here. You know, I love it. And, and I, pardon me interrupting, but in our... We do a lot of these videos and you can tell when you get to the heart of the owner, they kind of light up when they talk about yeah. it a little bit. <laughs> and when you talk about the Bibles, you start glowing. <laughs> I know, I do. I, I, you know why I gave them that gifts 
and you look, I have an antique selection of Bibles. Yeah, I noticed. You should see what's old. in my house. You'd yeah. really be amazed. <laughs> it would blow your mind. It really would. I've got Daenerys from back in um, biblical times that I was managed to find. So I really have done, you know, this is the joy of my heart. What are we looking at here? These are really, these look have a different feel to them than a normal type Bible. These are individual books of the Bible. So if you have a particular favorite one that you really love, these would be a great asset because you can indelve yourself in just that book. And also they make great gifts or coffee table books. And the younger generation seem to really love them because it's not the whole Bible. They can take each book and read it. So it, I it's, could see them being intimidated and you'd like to get them a message. You know, somebody's going through bad times. You, know, you get them Job, something like that. You give sure. them the Bible. I'm not going to read that, but it's like a book. Maybe Abs they'll read it. Absolutely. And like I said, these make great gifts and people really seem to love them. So I would highly suggest taking a look at those. So you can even do your coffee table books and the right people will know. Oh, great. Like that. It's love a, that. Yeah, they're really, people do love them. I love them. I had to bring them in. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed our visit to the Holy Land and meeting Victoria. So and no matter where you're at in your walk, come on up and meet Victoria. She can help you to get to where you're looking for. Or if you're not of faith, you know somebody it is, you're looking for a gift, she can guide you there. Or even if you just like great stories, come on, I just got goosebumps again. Come on up and hear about her journey. It's a great story. Just like all the small business owners in Scottsdale North, great people, great stories. It's a great place to live. So thanks for listening. And don't forget, there's buttons somewhere. Like, share, tell friends about it, all that stuff. Thanks for listening. <laughs>